spent so much time eating cheesecake when they could have just been having this. Hello my loves, I'm Miss Mon Mon. Welcome to my channel and the first video of 2022. Now, 2021 could not go quietly and we lost the amazing Betty White, who I have been a fan of since I was little. Golden Girls is one of my ultimate comfort shows and I very often have it on in the background as I do tasks around the house. I wanted to do a little tribute to Betty White and I know that she was famous for her chicken wings. And I just so happen to have this vintage celebrity cookbook and sure enough, there's Betty White's chicken wings. So that is what we will be doing today. This recipe is designed as a sharing plate with a couple of people and I am home alone for a couple of days. So I will be halving the recipe as, although I'm sure I can eat just under two kilos of chicken wings, I probably shouldn't. I mean, I could, but I just won't admit to it. Before we get started with any cooking, it's aprons on and let's make a shrine. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we need is a big bowl and that is where we are going to put our chicken. I have just on 900 grams of chicken wings which have been cleaned, so I'm gonna go ahead and pop them into my bowl. They do not look clean. I think the butcher lied to me. Be right back, I've got to clean some chicken. The chicken is now clean. I don't think you needed to see that. So what we need to do now is put our chicken aside and mix all of the rest of our ingredients into a smaller bowl. We are going in with half a cup of soy sauce. We now add half a cup of brown sugar, half a teaspoon of dry mustard, the last thing we have to add is half a stick of melted butter. So I've gone ahead and mixed it up and now we need to pour it into our chicken. We now need to cover our chicken mix and leave it at room temperature for a couple of hours. Now it is the Australian summer and I don't 100% feel comfortable just leaving chicken out on the bench. So I am making sure to crank up the AC just so I don't get food poisoning or salmonella when I'm home alone. There are a couple variations on this recipe, especially if you have a look online. I've seen ones that add honey and some that add garlic powder. I am really tempted to add garlic powder because garlic powder is amazing but also I think it'll just add a really nice extra depth of flavor. I'm going to stick to this recipe as is for now, but go and check out some of Betty White's other chicken wing recipes. I feel like maybe over the years she changed them or maybe added things, but you just never know. So I'm going to stick with this one, but feel free to add some honey or garlic powder. Three hours later. The chicken has been marinating for about three hours and I took that time to do some very rigorous housework. Thank you for being brave. Don't judge me, you know I was going to. Our next step is now to put our chicken into the oven for another hour. I am going to line my baking dish with some aluminium foil and then just pour my chicken in. This is going into the oven at about 190 Celsius or 375 Fahrenheit for an hour or until chicken is tender. In she goes. One hour later. The chicken has been in the oven for just on an hour and oh my gosh, the house smells amazing. So here is our chicken. And I guess it's time to taste a little bit. How do you eat chicken wings on camera without it looking like a reenactment of Godzilla? But anyway, this is for you. Oh, she's smiling down, guys. That is really, really good. That is the kind of chicken you eat with no pants on, on the couch. Delicious, it is really good. 
If you like something a little bit more spicy, a little bit of Tabasco would really elevate this. And I think I would add the garlic powder. I don't think it needs the honey. I think there's enough sweetness from the sugar. That is really, really yum. Thank you so much for joining me on my first video of 2022. It is a pretty yummy way to start the year and I am excited for some new and upcoming projects and videos. Here is a pinup you should follow. And of course, if you would like any more information about this recipe, you can find all of that in the description box below where I have linked my blog. So go and check that out. Please feel free to like, comment and subscribe. Until my next video, I hope you all be kind, be true, be you. And thank you for being a friend. Thank you for making chicken. Da -na -na -na. Ready? It's just you and me and a whole load of chicken. Yum.